to my channel. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna have a book look. I have not opened this book yet. I haven't flipped through it or anything. I haven't looked at any reviews. I just bought it and here we are. So, and I didn't even know, <laughs> I laid this color of paper down before I opened the package. So I just thought that was funny because they're very close to the same color. But um, yeah, so, cause I was expecting it to be like white, but it's blue. Let's take a peek at this book. This is Johanna Bassford's 30 Days of Creativity. Draw color and discover your creative self. Now, Johanna Bassford has put out several books. <laughs> so yeah, she, she is doing it. <laughs> She's doing it. Great, so Enchanted Forest is my first book that I ever bought, coloring book. World of Wonders is the newest one, Johanna's Christmas, World of Flowers, Ivy and the, Bink <laughs> the Inky Butterfly. And then she had a How to Draw uh, Inky Wonderlands. And so that's probably the most, like, like if we were gonna put these in a series, they would probably go together. And um, I noticed like, they are the same dimensions, which is different than her other books. So I'd kind of say this is a series that she's kind of doing. Sorry, I missed that. Could you I, say it again, please? I wasn't talking to you, Siri. I'm sorry. Whew. A little self-centered there. Okay, so... You probably think this song is about you, don't you? Okay. So let's take a look at this book and see what it is all about. I really like the cover. It is like a soft blue and we've got like a compass and a pen and a pencil. So it's really cute. Have our dust, little floppy thing here, cover. It's not removable, but there it is. So far we're looking like our, oh, these are cute, like the little robots. Looking like her other books. We've got an introduction and some tips. Um, when drawing, I like to sketch in pencil first, which is always a good idea. For coloring, I prefer pencils to pens. Um, if you're using ink, use the color palette test page at the back to check and make sure it doesn't bleed through the paper. Um, pop a few sheets of paper under your page you're working on, just in case anything does leak. Um, don't put pressure on yourself to complete a page each day. All you need to do is 10 minutes a day. At the end of your 30 days, you can revisit pages you haven't completed. Creative second helpings. So yeah, she, so she's saying that this is, you know, 30 days of creativity, but I mean, <laughs> we're, you know, you don't have to finish the whole book in 30 days. Just do as much as you want. You're, she, it looks like she's trying to give you a habit because we, in order to become better at something, you have to do it consistently. And so this is, you know, do this for 30 days, keep track, um, and then you're more likely to keep going. So she gives you some art supplies, pencils, pens, erasers, a sharpener, coloring pencils, um, and then some other bits and bobs, a habit tracker. And this is cute. So she starts with some tea, she says, and you just decorate each teacup. See, like she does in her books. You, here she gives you some that you can decorate. Cute. This looks more like you could just color these, but it's creative, which is awesome. Here she kind of gives you a mandala. She starts it. You can finish it. It's cute. I don't know if I... I personally like that because I have a hard time like drawing like somebody else and I would be very picky be like oh it doesn't look like hers I would rather she give me like a blank template with maybe the lines and then like one to look at so that I can look at it but mine all has the same 
drawing. You know what I mean? Some flowers to color. Could even draw some of your own here. We have some shelves of stuff that you could decorate. This is cute. I do like this. Progress, not perfection. Um, Marie Forleo often speaks about progress, not perfection, and it's a concept I wholeheartedly embrace. I love that. Nobody's perfect. You have to have perfect practice to be perfect, and who can practice perfectly? Not me. But it was something that my music professor always told me. Perfect practice makes perfect. You have to practice it perfectly, which means you can't practice it incorrectly. But I was like, who can practice perfectly? I can't. <laughs> okay, so here, yeah, this is like what I was saying, like gives me um, something to look at so I can get the idea, but then I can draw the whole thing myself. I really like that. And then she gives you some hints on the inside. That's really cool. Ooh, do you have a passion for pencils? I do, I do, pick me, pick me. So hey, why don't not draw some? Ooh, some balloons. We can decorate some balloons. I like this book. This is cute. I need to do this. This would be fun. Do more of what makes you happy. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, we could decorate some hearts. I like that. That's fun. Oh, and then we have her under the sea little motifs. Cute, cute. Fill the planters with your own leafy house plants. This is fun because she gives you like the example. I think, and as you do it, you'll realize just how simple the drawings really are. You know, they're not complicated and you can get fulfillment from some simple things. I love that. Ooh, robots. I don't know that I've seen her do robots before. Do, maybe her newest book has robots in it. I'd like to see her do a whole book of robots. That would be really fun. World of robots. Come on, Johanna. World of robots. What's this? Oh, this is World of Wonder. Yeah. Is this her newest one? Yeah. No, more houses. This one had a lot of houses in it. But not in the robots. Yeah. World of robots, Johanna. We're here for it. I'm here for it. That'd be so fun. Some household items. And on each page, she's giving you some tips up here. Like on the robot one, she gives you tips on how to get more of a metallic look in your coloring. Like she's giving you things on each page. Ooh, every child is an artist, which is so true. They are so creative and they don't care. <laughs> they just do what they like and they don't care what other people think and they don't care if it's perfect or not. And I love that. Oh. Okay, so this is cool. It's like, um, it's like a recipe, but you draw it. Cool. That's cool. We got some stamps. Can color in or draw in all little things in the circle. Some snow globes. Ice creams. Draw your own wondrous ice cream and popsicle creations here. Ooh, I love it. Inspiration, not intimidation. That's right. Like, look at her stuff and be inspired to draw your own. Don't be intimidated. This is about being inspired. And when you look at other people's art and you look at things across the world and over the internet and everything, like, let it inspire you. Don't let it intimidate you. And can you spot a fruit that is often mistaken as a vegetable? Maybe a tomato, is there a tomato somewhere? That's a fruit that's often mistaken as a vegetable. Those could be tomatoes. Depends on how you color them. Or those are probably tomatoes right there, yeah. Okay, 
Um, do oh, this is more like of a Zen doodle kind of thing, you know? Doodles are inky daydreams. Allow your mind and your pen to wander as you fill the opposite page with loops and squiggles. I love it. Oh my goodness. So fun, some kites, that's cute. Decorate some kites. Go outside the lines. True confession, I go over the lines all the time. If you've ever watched one of my live videos, you will know this, and you know what? I don't care, and neither should you. That is very true. I go outside the lines all the time too. I don't know if people notice, but I don't care, because I'll just tidy it up later, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Ooh, these are cute little lanterns. I like it because you can like work on a little space and that's, I think that's less intimidating. You know, I don't have to fill the whole page. I can just fill just a little space. That's fun. Oh, look at all those pencils. That's fun. Some more flowers. We're getting to the back of the book here. Oof. A floral frame. She gives you again like the example and then allows you to draw over here, which I really like. And then at the end, you did it, congratulations. Gives you a color palette test page, which is always appreciated. I love it. And then she has um, a list of her books over here, yes which I have all of them, my goodness. And I will continue to buy all of them. So I am very excited. This is a lovely, lovely book. So it's taken us mm, 10 minutes to look through it. Should we draw something? Let's, let me pick a page and we'll do it. We'll, we won't spend too much time, but. Okay, I like the idea of these planters. I think they are so stinking cute. So let's draw some plants. We could even decorate them, we'll see. So this one says, fill these planters with your own leafy house plants. See how many different types of leaves you can draw. And don't forget to include some cacti and succulents, yes. So she gives us lots of different examples up at the top of the page, like there's a little cactus, and really that's like made out of circles. So we could have some fun here, and it, it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's, let's just, I'm starting with pencil. This is a 0.7 lead. This is what I prefer to draw with is a mechanical pencil. drawn in a while you guys I need to I need to pick up my sketchbooks and do better this year's been crazy I think I need to make a a goal for next year that 
Um, I need to do more drawing or make sure I draw every week or something. Starting to think about some, I don't know, some uh, resolutions, I guess. I don't know, I don't really make resolutions, but maybe I need to because this year has been a little nuts and there's some things I need to get back to doing more often. That was not the direction I wanted that to go. So let's make it pointy on this side. There we go. And we'll kind of come on this side. There we go. Maybe another one up there. Okay, and then it needs like one coming off this way, I think. My house plants have died, you guys. They didn't make it. I suck as a house plant person. I need to just put some fake plants <laughs> in those planters and just just accept it. It's okay. You know, if you really weren't a drawer, I mean, these are really simple things to draw and you don't have to be perfect by any means, but if you really weren't a drawer, you really didn't want to draw them, you could stamp them. I mean, that's still creative. You're still like filling them in. I have some stamps. We could try. We could do one like that, just using stamps. Let's see. So I just have some black ink and then I have these like 
peg stamps I think that's where they're from let's see yeah pegstamps.com so you could definitely use something like this to fill in your pot if you're really not inclined to draw okay so let's See, that's cool. So you could do some of those if you're really not wanting to draw. Let's see. Or like, <clears throat> here's some. Roses. And then you could take some leaves. Hello, come in. Thank you. So there are definitely some ways you can use this book even if you are not the most um, compelled or comfortable drawing your own thing. So definitely some, some ways to do it. I like that this one here where it's just like a line and a circle. We can, I can totally do a line and a circle. Look at that, I can do that. A line and a circle. A line and a circle. Maybe this one needs a line and a circle. And I like to be an odd number, so I'll put a line and a circle there. You guys can write, draw lines and circles. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, she said we gotta add some uh, succulents. Let's do like, we'll make like a little a little bump here and we'll make a bigger bump here and then we'll make maybe a middle size bump and then we'll make up here and a little bump here we'll just build these bumps up just a little bump here and a little bump there. Okay, and then what makes them look like cacti? Dots. We'll just put some dots on there. Then if we want to ink them, we can just grab a, a fine liner and go right over the top. I really like that one actually. <laughs> and you could, let's see, let's do the other next one in like green. Um, oh, this one. So we'll just. Yeah, 
just kind of ink it up. I have had Kelly Clarkson's Love So Soft stuck in my head all day. And I don't even know where I heard it recently. <laughs> my goodness. We could even like color those in. Let's see. These are, I'm using a water-based marker, so it should be fine, but I'm going to make sure I just do one layer and don't Go over it again with the marker. This is fun. I've done kind of like this kind of practice in watercolors before, just like these little plants. And they are really fun. Highly recommend. Ooh. You could even do them fun. You, wouldn't, you don't have to do them houseplant colors. Let's see. We'll make our cacti this bright pink color. Love so soft again. How cute, and we could add a little dash of color into our uh, stamped flowers. Let's see. Here, we'll take like this nice bright kind of fuchsia pink. And I'm just gonna tap some into these roses. And this nice bright green. Yes! Oh my goodness, yes. Look how cute, you guys. I love it. This is going to be a fun book to work in. I um, highly recommend it if you're looking to start a daily drawing practice because it is or just a creative process. It's cute. It's well guided. You're not just like left <laughs> with no uh, help. Like she definitely gives you lots of examples and things and there's plenty of coloring. Even if that's all you're into, you don't want to draw. There are some really cute things to color, but you know, press yourself to try doodling a little bit. You might really enjoy it. So yes, highly recommend. Love a Johanna Basford book. We will buy all of them. Keep them coming. And if you see this, which you won't, 
Wonders of Robots. I'm here for it. <laughs> World of Robots. Whatever you want. Okay. I hope you guys have an awesome week. Weekend, you find time to be creative, take a deep breath, relieve some stress, doodle a little bit, and uh, throw some color on there too. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.